I'm Pat Jared, and I am the garden coordinator for the tavern, and um, I'm enjoying that very much. And how do we spell your name? G-E-R-R-E-D. You want to say that again, please? G-E-R-R-E-D. And how do we spell your first name? Patricia, P-A-T-R-I-C-I-A. Or when you you live here in this community, I, I, how has how why is this a, a good investment for somebody to make in terms of an opportunity to be part of, of saving it and restoring it? Well, I have lots of memories about this tavern as a little girl looking over the wall and wishing I could be in the garden to play and things like that. Um, Anytime you put time and energy into a restoration, you're improving the community. And um, as the tavern deteriorated, got the spelling of your name correctly. Um, tell us why this is an important part of the Unionville community, the tavern, and why it's a good investment for local people to put funds into and put resources into? Well, the, the tavern has been here uh, as long as I've lived in Unionville, which was from, my family moved here in 1944. And uh, so walking around the block and going past this magnificent building and seeing people come and go and all those kinds of things was exciting for us. And um, as the building deteriorated, we began to wonder what was going to happen. And when you see a building that's deteriorating, Pick it up. When you see a building that's deteriorating, it's depressing. So Every, when you see a building, like the motorcycle went over you. When you see a building that's deteriorating, it's depressing. You go past it every day, the roof is falling in, and uh, the paint is off the walls, and you wonder what's going to happen to this old building. and and it's a historical value. Um, we always knew that it was part of the Underground Railroad. And um, so that was of interest. I think people should be responsible to support uh, historic things. But I used to peer over the garden wall as a child and wish that I could play in the gardens. They had beautiful gardens. And um, it was uh, a place where weddings happened and uh, a lot of photography was done with those kinds of things, and uh, special events happened at the tavern. What will happen when somebody finally does come to the plate with the money needed to do this? What will happen to this, this place? What will, what will be the external benefits of it? We know it'll look nice, it'll be functional, but what will it do for the area? Well, there were a lot of people who had worked at the tavern previously, worked in the kitchen, worked as waitresses and different things. Um, uh, I hope that it'll bring some jobs back to the community. I hope that it will um, be a place where we can come and celebrate. Uh, It'll be a place to celebrate, to have special events, to have um, bridal showers and uh, baby showers and birthdays for uh, old family members who remember coming here before and um, uh, the um, class reunions and uh, all those kinds of, of events can happen here again and that's bound to bring income into the area and uh, interest. Um, home property values will rise because the building has been restored. Uh, this building unites the community because there's a lot of people who come together. This is a uniter, not a divider. Tell me why that is. I think people come together over food. It's a come to the table kind of a situation. Uh, you don't fight at the, at the dinner table, it's a celebration. And um, I think, just think it's a good place to bring people together. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Historically, that's what it's done, but it's also brought a lot of famous people to the table. It's brought a lot of interesting um, people here. It's iconic. Tell me, tell me why it's I an iconic building in, in the community. And use the word, please, iconic. 
I remember in 1948 when we had our centennial here. Hold on, I'm sorry, there's something in the area that's interfering with our wireless. My daughter asked me if there would be flowers here for my grandson's wedding, uh, if they could take pictures. And I have not planted a lot of stuff that will be blooming in the fall if they're having an October wedding. So, yes, we could. Yes, we could. We may as well go ahead and give it a shot. Okay. Well, um, I remember in 1948. when we were doing the sesquicentennial here. The governor came and uh, we had a stand across the street as a stage area, but everything focused around the tavern and the tavern um, held the dignitaries and um, uh, we had a really big event uh, with that, parades and the whole thing. Um, I think that the, it is an icon in the community. I used to give directions. I would say to people, oh, well, you know where the old tavern is? I live on the road that goes south. And um, so that was my, my marker. You know, everybody has a, something as a marker when you're giving directions to people. They say it's the oldest tavern in Ohio. Well, I think so, if it's from 1798. So why don't you, can you say that in a sen sentence? I believe that it's the oldest tavern in Ohio. Um, we are celebrating our 220th birthday, so 1798 is when the building was first established. I know that it was a couple of um, log cut cabins to begin with, and it's been built on and built on, and so it's, it's much more extensive than that now, but Unionville was the first settlement in the Western Reserve in 1798. So it was here uh, to begin with when the Harpers came to Unionville. Um, want me to talk about volunteers? Uh, that would be good. Just tell us about the power of the volunteer community around the project. Uh, since we started this project, there's been volunteers from um, the high school key club, from um, the Master Gardeners in both Lake and Ashtabula County. Uh, the BOED has sent people over. There's just been uh, a lot of people who had done things at the tavern who came to help originally clear up the garden. There was so much overgrowth, so many tree limbs, so many things that needed to be cut back. Um, and many people have worked on the inside to empty things out of the building. Um, and, and it just, it draws people in. Everybody's curious. When you heard that they got the, the second grant for phase two of the project from the state of Ohio, we, we had gotten a certain amount of money and now we have to raise that match. What, how did you feel? What did it make you think? Oh, I've been excited about that and wondering who else we could involve. And I don't, I don't know very much about fundraising, but I know that there's a need and it's a worthwhile project. And I'm hoping that people will catch the vision. One of the things that I think would be a big uh, bonus for us would be to get the nursery industry involved. Lake County has often been referred to as the nursery capital of the world. And there are many nursery people here that... Um, we need the nursery people to work with us, uh, to step up and, and uh, join with us to help make this garden grow and the project here at the tavern grow. And um, we are looking forward to working with them.